Hey guys, I, I hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to be doing the uh, thought of the day, um, which is a great privilege to do it. Um, and actually today we're all going to be thinking about uh, being generous and about the things that we can give to others and also thinking about how we be content with what we have. Um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 11 it says in the NIV, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous on every occasion. And I wonder how many times you find yourself, you know, asking for more than you already have. Um, you know, always thinking like, oh, if only I had that pair of shoes or that piece of clothing or or that piece of technology. Like those things that, you know, you're always like thinking after the brand new iPhone or whatever it could be. There's always this sense of more and more. Um but the truth is, is that what we should try and think about and what will truly enrich our souls is when we are thinking of others and how we can bless others in our everyday lives. And, uh, you know, that old familiar saying, it's better to give than to receive. Well, that actually is true. Um, for me, having uh, my three year old daughter, Isabella, I'm always if I'm spending money, it normally is on her. And actually, I've got to control that, too, as well, because I don't want her to. Um, lose what it is to like receive a gift which is out of love and caring for her but sometimes if she has too much then maybe um, I, I don't want her to be in that place of like like she that she's got she just doesn't she takes for granted the things that she has um, but you know what we are blessed so that we can give to others um, you know there's this great verse as well in Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 says I've learned how to be content with whatever I have and I think that is the goal that is the goal we got to have otherwise because of all the media that we take in on an everyday basis there's always something out there telling us of something we need but actually what we really need is something we give of ourselves whether in our time um, with people that we're all doing in the food bank volunteers at the moment which is amazing um, whether we give it in a finance you know in like anything that you have financially you can give to others as well for me, it was an experience that part of my work is that I got to go out and lead trips out to countries that have high levels of extreme poverty. And one of the countries was uh, in Uganda. We went to actually visit a home with uh, uh, the mum and about a few kids. And um, we were about to leave and this little girl, she couldn't be more than like two years old, two or three. Um, and she she uh, was crying but I gave her I uh, took out my uh, bag a tennis ball because sometimes we have little gifts to give and she was amazed by it she was just taking it in her hand and she was looking at it and she had never seen anything like it and it looked so precious to her and treasured it you see they do not within these countries have all the things that we have and we cannot take for granted and I felt that that tennis ball has done so much more to enrich that little girl's life than it would be when I with me holding on to it so all I wanted to say is just try and be content in everything you have. Like, thank God for everything you have. Think about the things that you don't use and that could be used to bless others. You know, you know, filling in, uh, fill a, you know, a sack full of clothes and give it to a, uh, a charity shop when they open up again. Think about what could be done there. Finally, it's uh, thinking uh, about... Um, you know like how we can give more of ourselves it's a great thing to do it's a great habit to get into um and i hope that will be a real encouragement to you today uh, god bless you all and um hopefully look forward to seeing you all uh, in person soon